one on a car guy, one on a car guy.com. And what I got here for you today is an absolutely gorgeous 1988 Lincoln Mark 7. It's the LSC model and all the options. This one here is actually from Lincoln Mercury Beverly Hills, baby. There's only 26,000 miles on it and it's a one owner car. Um, Marshall lights, look at that. You don't see that kind of stuff anymore. Um, I do all kinds of one and two owner cars. Um, go ahead and check my website. Um, this one is just absolutely gorgeous. I've had it for a long time. Um, usually I've got a bag over the back all taped on it and I'll show you the marks from the tape from being on there. But the paint is faded. It is what it is. It's not all banged up. It's not all messed up. Pretty much every line on every piece is tight as can be. Look at that. Just tight as can be. Except on the front, there's one piece that has a little pulled out. I'll show you. And that's what this is going to be. It's kind of going around it and showing you the what is, where, for, and how to of this beautiful little car. I like to call him a man's Mustang because it is a man's Mustang. It's a pretty cool car. Um, it's, it's just easier to get in and out of. It's not a kid's car in the same way. Man, I've got lots of Mustangs, and I like Mustangs. They're just a little harder to get in and out of. That's all there is to say about it. Okay, so that's the deal. One owner car guy, one owner car guy .com. On my website, there's all kinds of pictures of this gorgeous car. Look at the wheels on this thing. Now, one thing I want to say right off is it's a project car, and tires are shot. Look at this. It's been sitting. Um, they're shot. And I'm going to go around, show you any little damages and stuff on the car, and we'll kind of go from there. Subscribe, hit the little bell button down below and all that stuff to where you get notifications. This is a piece I talked about that was pulled out just a little bit. It needs to be pushed in and have this piece you can see where it's just off a little bit there. There's a crack in that bottom piece. And this one here is kind of, there you go. I had it just sitting in there. I didn't have it wired up or nothing. And it's just kind of hanging a little bit there. And could be, oh, the bolt is right there for it. I guess we just didn't take time to put that bolt on before we took pictures. Not very smart, is it? Not very smart. That just would be nice to fix that. Beverly Hills, baby. So, nice chrome grill, nice chrome bumper. The bumper's in great shape. There's a little scuff right there. Um, a little marring right here. That might actually polish out. We didn't even polish this thing up. Um, it's just a beautiful car. Every bit of, bit of line on it is just tight as can be. Underneath it, it's a clean car. It's not leaking all over the place or nothing. I'm sure you're going to find it damp gasket here there and been running um, on the road for a long time and it runs it drives shifts stops all that good stuff it just ain't been on no road trips or nothing I'm gonna go down the sides and show you any dent stings or anything like that faded and leaving clear coat all over the top surfaces in fact you can see some primer type such under that it's not a rusty car there's no rust um, and you might find a patina on some little metal parts somewhere underneath it. But look at just down the side, it's not rusty or nothing. And actually, it's not all dinged up or nothing either. There's a ding right here. And I'm sure there's one or two I'll miss. A um, couple dings in here from just like door ding type stuff it looked like. And you can see that clear coat just fading. The color of the paint, you can see really good down here, especially down there. But up here, it's just kind of all, all the coat coat is off from the sun. California, that's kind of what you get on a lot of cars. Um, all the window rubbers and trims and seals, so tight and nice. Um, this one, these all give out. And you can scratch this off and repaint it or whatever you want. Even the window sweeps are in pretty good shape. It's starting to show some light crackage. Um, window, pretty good shape. I'm sure there's like the, not chips, but small fleck picks you get. I don't see no big chips in it. We'll look from the inside, it's usually easier. Um, I don't know. If that black just went to right there, you can tell a little piece on the inside. It was definitely black and that's silver. Um, that's what, and that's what you're dealing with is seal's good on all of it here, but you got the blacks just kind of faded around it. And in fact, that's the closest thing to rust you got. A little bit of patina on that. Um, this is the tape I was talking about where we had the bags all taped over this thing to keep it nice. I actually, I had this door just sitting there and I was on that side. I opened the door and when I closed the door, Right as I went like this, I looked across the back and I seen that that window was just bowed out a little bit. And from the heat and the sun, it had been bowed out and it went boosh just when I closed the door. I didn't slam it or nothing. It's in one of my walk around videos on my channel. Like I say, make sure and subscribe. Lots of that kind of stuff on here. 
Um, I'm gonna show you the back and everything. Um, look at this. I left this up on my walk around. Nice. Look at 06, what is that? 13 years ago? Yeah, baby. Okay, so lenses. Lenses are in nice condition. The car is just gorgeous. I love all the chrome or pop metal or whatever trim around it. All looks great. The antenna is all here and intact and stuff. Um, third brake and everything's there. That's severely miscolored. I can see some gray still on it. In fact, you rub it and it gets back to the original color. Wow. Imagine that. Wow, it does too. Think about that. But it's going to have to be dyed. They have the psh, psh, SEM. If you ever want to dye interior stuff, it's SEM is the stuff you use. Uh, rear windows, easy to get on this. They got them at the glass shop. A um, couple hundred, two, three hundred bucks, you're done deal. I had one guy say 150 but I didn't get it done at the time. I wasn't putting money into this thing. Um, and I'm still not. I'm moving it down the line. God, it's, it's straight. It's so straight. The uh, lines are, of course, are, are all blah, blah, blah. The lines, of course, are all fading off just from time. There is some door dings in here. We'll come back at it from the other side and look down the side. But all the fender lines and stuff are really straight. He didn't really mash anything up. I think this is factory. I'm not 100% certain. But I think on the LSC, the wheel, the wheel trim also came with it, connecting these two side trims. I love the two-tone on it. It's awesome. Um, like I say, tires you need. And let me let me show you these wheels. A little weight on the outside, but they're not all curved up. I, that one has never seen a curb, man. Let's look around them because I want to make sure. But as some of the options that these things have in the state, look at how clean that wheel is. Seriously, and they got the locks on them even. But um, even got the security feature for this. You'd have to get in touch with the dealer and get it. I don't have the number. It might be in the manuals or something inside. I don't know. God, those dogs. Okay. This one's faded. This one looks to have went down this way. Boom. Ben, why am I doing this stuff? This is supposed to be done in the pre, in the pre detail. And then this, so that piece is on there. You're gonna need a couple of these inside clips replaced to make that work. Um, see, it's missing a clip. We get the hole right there. Um, all these little logos and stuff are intact. The chrome on the mirrors, just spectacular. This stuff would all clean up very nice. Look at what I'm scratching there. I just haven't taken the time to go around this thing and clean this stuff up. I'm just offering it for sale and I want to give you the cheapest price available without putting all kinds of money into it. Looks to be a ding there. And I'm pretty sure that there's a ding in this piece. And this one is bent in a little bit. And I'm pretty sure you can honestly just push it out from the inside. Uh, pretty straight. Looks like an outwardly ding there a little bit. A couple dingy dings. Um, and you can see where the clear coat line is, where the top is just totally faded off. Um, usually I'm doing this in the bright, bright sunlight, but this isn't the bright, bright sunlight, of course. It's just kind of whatever it is. Okay, that's your car. That's the stuff. We've been around it. Now look how clean this back bumper is. Very clean. And I love how on these old cars, a lot of the options and stuff, they just, it's such a multi-piece, multi-faceted, just, there's so many parts to make this work. Versus nowadays, it's just this bumper cover. Even on that, it's just a bumper cover, man. It's a bumper cover. That's what it is. This is a bumper with like a bumper cover and trim coming onto the bumper cover. And this piece of trim in the middle inset into the bumper. I mean, there's so many integral parts, even the under the bumper spoiler piece, which these are usually faded, rotted, gone, and yeah, you know what I mean. Just a lot more put into the design and the engineering and how to make these old cars. And I want to show you this here. Tiny curb piece. And did he get it there? He sure did. Got it just a little bit right there. But that's the only spot I see. Did he get the front one too? He certainly did. Certainly. Yep, that's right. Certainly. Got it right there. Okay. But other than that, the fins, the dorsals, the fins, caps, everything. Beautiful. Tires, not so beautiful. And need of replacement. Okay. Well, that is your exterior. That's the deal. My name is Nathan. It's 406 546 8748. If you're looking for something like this, give me a call. You need to get on top of it and get it bought. I've also got a 4.6 liter V8 Mercury XR7 two door. I'm going to walk back while I show it to you. We've got the caddy here. Sorry, I'm going to zoom back out to where you can see that 
Don't worry, don't bounce around. This thing right here, man. And the wheels turn the wrong way for it to be pretty. But alloy wheels, the whole deal. Leather, 46,000 original miles. And this car is a steal. Every car is a steal here. Lots of deals. Look at all the cars. Look at all the cars. I've got 100 cars. One owner car guy. One owner car guy. Dot com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. And if you're interested in this car, once again, 406 546 8748. Subscribe here on YouTube. Get the notification bell ding and stuff. And check it out on my website, oneownercarguy.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are, oneownercarguy.com. Man, nice car.